back again, YouTube. Um, here's what we got going on. Um, just a little bit of progress. My sleep schedule just got turned into a complete disaster. I didn't get to bed yesterday morning until 8 o'clock in the morning because of a lot of interference between a roofer coming to check out the roof in the garage here at the shop at about 12.30 and the, the multiple phone calls that I received prior to that, I didn't get a whole hell of a lot of sleep. And when the roofer came, I just threw in the towel and decided to get up. So, after doing a little bit of running around and, and a little bit, a tiny bit of work in here, ate dinner and passed out hardcore on the floor. <laughs> so, I didn't get a lot done today, unfortunately, but we're, we're, we're almost to the stage where this is, the assembly of this is going to come together really, really fast. The difficult part was creating these, this Z angle right here. Um, so I got all those, both of those all done on that side. They're cut a little bit longer than they need to be, but I did that on purpose because I'm not sure just yet where I'm, where I'm going to cut them off at. So what I'm working on right now, well, because I built the frame too, um, kind of want to show you how this is going to work. Essentially... The glass that's going to sit in here is going to be sandwiched between this and this. Okay, because it's going to be variable thicknesses between a quarter and a half inch. So, then along this rail here, we'll have at least three securing points on each side. And then one here in the center on the bottom and one there in the center at the top. And basically, I'm going to weld a nut to the back side of this, drill a hole, weld a nut, take a piece of a 3 16 plate. I'm probably going to cut it down to a, an inch or maybe an inch and, inch and a half inch strip off of the, the plate I have over there on the sawhorses. Um, inch and a half inch wide, full length of it, and then I'm going to put it in the chop saw and cut it to the, the lengths that I need to make little tabs that come off like this. Okay. And the nut that will be welded here will have a bolt that drops in here. And then there will be another nut welded to the top part of this tab with an adjustment bolt that will clamp down this frame and pinch in the glass there. So that's the next tedious process I got. It's really not that bad. Um, but right now what I've worked on is I've cut the, the angle that I'm going to need for the, the bottom, the top the top and the bottom part of this frame and how it's going to sit is like this okay and if you look here I've got this notched a little bit right here and I'm actually going to have to go back in there and readjust that I'm going to have to cut a little bit more off of that now that I look at it um, I'm basically going to notch this square out because this surface and this surface here, sorry I'm in the light, need to be flat, flush like this is, okay? I can't have the overlap there because it's glass and, you know, it, it can't be, it needs a completely flat surface for the glass to rest around the entire frame. So I've got to notch those out like that. So. With that being said, now that I have it in there, I see that I need to do a little bit of adjusting, but that's fine. It's always better to be, to have to cut a little bit more than to, than to have cut too much. So, I'll go back in here with the chop saw, or the cut off, you know, the angle grinder, and, and chop this square out, and get this so that it drops flat and, and level with this other piece here. Um, then I'm going to take one of these other ones here that's not been cut and it's going to go just like that, okay, to create another Z. So that's how that'll work. Um, I'm probably, actually now that I look at it, I mean I could just set it in here like this and, and it's fine. If you look here, 
it, it's, it's pretty close to, to being flat with that surface. But the difference is, is when I did the Z part on here, what I did, if I can show you this, I raised this up like that so that I had a lap joint to weld on instead of this. This will probably work, but I like the idea of having that lap joint better because it gives me a lap joint on the top and the back, or the face and the back side for me to weld on. And I just think it's a better setup. So I'll, I'll probably come in here and, and have to do a little bit of adjusting on that just to, just to make it flat. Um, honestly, probably not too much though. Where it's going to probably end up having to be cut is, is right here. Just a little bit of a notch here when this drops down flat. Once I cut this piece out, then I'll find out if I need to do anything on that. Theoretically, I shouldn't have to, but right now it's 5 o'clock or what the hell time is it? My clock is way off in here. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning or something like that. So, I'm not, my brain's not functioning too well right now. But anyways, that's, that's what I'm, that's the stage that I'm at right now with this. I'll have all that hammered out. I was thinking about doing it right now, and I actually might. I've got to go to the bathroom, so I got to, this, this happens every time I come out to the shop. I'm completely fine. As soon as I get in the shop, I've got to pee. So, I just figured I'd shoot this video real quick, head back in the house, take care of that come out here and at least get these pieces cut to where they need to be. Um, I had to go get a new tank of gas yesterday. That was one of the errands that I had to run. So I've got to hook that up and probably start welding this stuff and, and try to get this, these top and bottom plates in before I go, try to go back, go back to sleep. Um, I'm a UFC fan, so it's fight week. Um, that's going to take up a, a significant part of my evening. So I don't, I don't expect to get a whole hell of a lot done today, but the fights don't start until later. So I'm definitely going to try to at least finish this, this top frame. Um, not necessarily the tabs or anything, but the frame itself. And then I can cut up the, the base frame and figure out how this thing's going to collapse and make, make sure that my, my hinges are all proper lengths and then I could actually cut the the base of this off to where it needs to be. <clears throat> so that's it for now. Um, subscribe, comment, like. Again, links and everything for this project for the company I'm building it for. My Facebook page, the whole works. If you're if you're a subscriber, or familiar with my videos, same routine. Um, show your support. Definitely like to hear back from you. So leave comments, send me a message, add me. At, like my page on Facebook and let me know what you think of my work. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye.